Hi guys, welcome to episode two of our physics past paper today. By the way, this video is sponsored by Chur. So Chur aims to help all the learners to solve all the problems faced in your studies. Example, if you face any problem that you don't know how to solve it, Chur aims to help you guys to solve it. So to make learning fun and easy to democratize learning. And this video is also sponsored by VBAS. Okay, and VBAS is basically a top leading tutorial center in Malaysia. Okay, so feel free to check them out. Okay, without further ado, let's move on to our part two of the physics paper. Let's go. Okay, so in part one, we have solved from question one to 13. Okay, so you guys can refer to the link for the part one video. And let's go for part two. Let's start with question 14. Okay, let's go. So the diagram show a mercury barometer. So barometer, it's a very good equipment to measure atmospheric pressure, okay? Oh, they already mentioned, ha ha ha, I'm a bit dumb yet. Okay, so what height is used to measure atmospheric pressure? You just imagine that your atmosphere will push this liquid down. Okay, will push this liquid down. So your baseline is here. Okay, at the end of the day, your mercury will rise to this level. So the difference between the height is your atmospheric pressure. The answer is C. Okay, it's straightforward. Yeah, this question. Okay, 15. A student splashes water to her face. Okay, here are some statements about effect. Wow. Okay. So the water uses energy to evaporate. Definitely, yes. Okay, so if you splash water to your face, like whenever you're showering, what happens is that the water absorbs all the heat energy away from the body. That is true. Okay. Water gains energy from the student. This statement is also quite right, okay? So it gains energy from the student, right? Because the heat energy from the student is gained in the water molecule. Okay, the face of the student crew, always remember when evaporate occur. Okay, please remember that it always provides a cooling effect. So your answer is P, Q, and R. Okay, well done. Okay, next. Question 16. When a bridge is built, a gap is left between each concrete lab. Okay, this is a very important procedure when you guys are, when we are constructing in the real world. So what else that you can relate? For example, if you are constructing a railway track, okay, so in between the track, they actually leave a big space in between. The reason being, let's say if there's a hot weather, during a hot weather, oh my God, imagine in Malaysia, guys, 30 degrees every day, crazy. Okay, so the metal bar will expand. When they expand, they fill up the, uh, the those small gap that is left, uh, that's left open before the construction. Okay, so the reason why, because this concrete expand on warm day, yeah. Well done. Okay, cool. Okay, 17, a specific heat capacity of, okay, what is specific heat capacity? Specific heat capacity is basically the energy required, okay, to increase, okay, one degree Celsius of an object with one gram. Okay, sorry, what? not one gram, but one kg. Okay, so they say, right, P is greater than Q, so what happened is that P requires much more energy in order for the temperature to go up, okay? So less energy is required to, to in, no, I just mentioned more energy is required, right? That is wrong. Less energy is needed to melt. Nah, it has nothing to do with melting. So melting is specific latent heat of fusion. So it's not melting. Okay, more energy is needed as what I mentioned. Yes, correct. This is right. It's melt. As what I mentioned, specific capacity is just to increase temperature. It's not for any change of phase. If for any change of state, you must use latent heat. For example, you have latent heat of fusion, latent heat of vaporization. Yeah. So the answer is C. Okay, sexy. Okay, 18. Let's go. So a student plays number of ice cube with a hole in the base. Okay, hole in the base. He then left them to melt so that the water drip into the baker place. The student recorded the initial mass of the baker and final mass after five minutes. Okay, the specific latent heat of fusion. Okay, latent heat of fusion is for melting, yeah? Okay, how much energy was absorbed from the surrounding in order for you to melt the ice? Okay, what is the formula for change in state? So for change in state, the formula is ML, whereby mass is given here. What is the change in mass? the change in mass pretty much is 0 0.11 kg, am I right? So I can say that it's 0 0.11 multiplied by 334 joule per gram. However, 
look at the unit, yeah? Your unit given is joule per gram. I need to change it to gram. So how do you change it to gram? Please multiply it by a thousand. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so we multiplied it in our calculator. Um, I'm getting 36740, bruh. 36740 joule. I can write, round it up to about 37,000. So the answer is C, yeah? Okay, so nothing difficult. So far, so good. Okay, we will do, <laughs> we'll be doing a new question 26. Okay, question 19. Diagram show four rods. Each rod is made of different metal. Okay, vax is used attached, blah, 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 PQRX. So imagine, imagine you put a vax here. Okay, each rod has the same size. They are mounted uniformly in the center. So as the rod warm up, the wax melts and the ball falls off. Why does the ball on the silver fall off first? Reason because silver is a best conductor. It's like a best heat conductor. So it conducts heat in a very short time. So very short time, all the heat energy, you go to the vex here, then eventually melt the vex and the ball drop. Am I right? Okay, so as what I mentioned, silver is the best conductor of heat. Done. No problem, yeah? Okay, four cups A, B, C, D contains hot coffee. Which cups keep the coffee warm the longest? Okay, so the longest, right, you must look for an insulator. So imagine if you have a steel cup, it loses heat very quickly. But if you have a plastic cup, for example, polystyrene cup, it does keep the heat for a longer period of time. Reason, it is a better insulator. Okay, so the outside surface, so the outside surface must be white so that heat can be reflected. Okay, so that your heat can be reflected. Okay, so black, I don't like black. Okay, the top of the cup covered with a lid, definitely to reduce the heat loss, right? I think this is kind of common sense. My grandma can do it. I think you guys can do it. Okay, so the answer is 20C. Okay, 21, which row correctly describe light wave? Okay, so right now they are asking for light wave, yeah? Okay, so for light wave, remember that light wave is a transverse wave. By the way, this is how a transverse wave look like. Longitudinal is a series of compression, a series of reflections, a series of compression, a series of reflections. Okay, so this is definitely a transverse wave. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, if you move on to air level, you're going to learn about the dual property of a light wave. Okay, so you know that it is longitudinal out, transverse, transverse. Okay, and remember, transverse, they always travel perpendicular. Can you see that it's a 90 degree here? It's a 90 degree here. It's a 90 degree here. So it's always perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Yeah. So the answer is 21 donkey. Okay, a diffraction light wave pattern. Okay, a changes are made to the wavelength and to the gap to produce a semi circular diffracted wave pattern. So you want it to diffract more. Okay, you want it to diffract more. So what happened is that, by the way, this is your wavelength, okay? And this is your gap size, I put it as A. Okay, in, in order for you to have a huge diffraction, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna make your wavelength so much bigger than your gap. If your wavelength is much bigger than gap, imagine this like a fat guy. You just imagine this fat guy need to squeeze through this. Higher is so hard, you know? So it will, oh my God, you squeeze, like he squeezes. Uh, the effort, so he will produce a very circular path. So the imagine the belly, so the belly will, will you produce a circular path. So remember, you must have a large wavelength and a small gap. Then only that it can squeeze through with a huge effect. Okay, so I can make, no, making the gap larger is going to be easier for this fat dude to squeeze over, right? That doesn't help, doesn't help. So no. Okay, same, maybe okay. However, my wavelength going to be bigger because I need the fat dude, bro. Okay, I need a fat dude. Okay, so the answer is C. Yeah. Okay, remember this here. Yeah? When your wavelength is so much bigger than your A, your diffraction is very significant here. Yeah? Okay, hope it helps. Okay, 23. Which statement about thin converging lens is correct? Okay, so for thin converging lens, all ray of light refracted by the lens pass through the principal, principal focus. No, not all, yeah. Okay, so this statement is not quite right. All ray initially parallel to the principal axis refracted through the principal focus. Yes, it's right because let's say if I have a lens, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, okay, and this is my principal focus. If you have a ray parallel coming through, imagine if you have a ray per parallel coming through, 
okay, it will refract it towards the focus. Yes, correct. Okay, why statement A is not right? Let's say if you have a ray that cuts through the center of the lens, okay, it just go right through here. It doesn't undergo any diffraction. Oh, sorry, it doesn't undergo any refraction. So B is right, A is not right. Focal length of the lens is the distance between the image and the, no, that's not. It's basically the focal length between the, the focal length and the center of the lens here. Okay, is the distance between the object and image. No, that is even worse. How can it be? So the answer is B. Okay, so 23, done. Okay, move on to 24. Okay, show a white light, a white light passing through a prism. So what description of what happens as the light passes into the prism is correct. Okay, so if you have white light going in, we, okay, and it's split into two different, due to refraction, they travel, they are traveling at a different speed. Okay, so wavelength will come up, then violet, violet light will undergo another degree of refraction. Okay, the speed of red light is less. No, always remember, right, red travel the fastest, yeah. Okay, violet is travel at traveling at the slowest, yeah. Okay, speed of red light is less. How can it be? As what I mentioned, is greater, yeah. So it's greater. The speed of violet light, okay, and the red light is least refracted. Yes, correct, because they travel faster, so they get banned uh, slight, slightly less, okay. The speed of violet light is less, correct, okay. The violet light is least refracted. No, this is more refracted. Okay, violet is greater. That's wrong. It's last year. So the only answer is boy. Okay, so next, 25. Okay, which row possibly give the value for the sound, speed of sound? Okay, always remember, speed of sound travel fastest in solid. Reason, because solid particles, they are, they are close together. When they are close together, so the vibration right, can pass in a shorter period of time. Okay, so after that, it will be liquid and the slowest, yeah, it will be gas. Okay, so the answer is 3,000. This is okay. Uh, yes, this does make sense. Okay, this is highest wrong. This is highest wrong. This is highest wrong. So the answer is A, straightforward. Okay, a police car with siren sounding its stationary in heavy traffic. A pedestrian, okay, notice that. Although the loudness of the sound produces does, produce does not change, the pitch varies. Okay, always remember in a... In in sound wave, okay, let's say if we were to plot it in a graph, pitch is can be represented by your frequency. Okay, loudness is always represented by amplitude. Okay, they say loudness does not change. So my amplitude will never change. Okay, amplitude will never change. So these two are right. Okay, this I can cross it out. Frequency changes. So frequency changes, and the answer is boy. Okay, so with that said, that will be all for our video today. So we will be releasing our last video, part three, by tomorrow. Okay, so that's all for today and hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any comments, any doubts, feel free to comment below. That if you, okay, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe. And we, that's all for today. See ya.